up, Cross the Roaster Barbell Happy Taco. Tuesday, we have our strength for Tuesday. It's gonna be six rounds, not a superset. This first part A is gonna be kind of like a warm up. What I'm looking for is that you guys are um, not working incredibly heavy, but you're working on technique and all of the little pieces that go together for our snatch. We're gonna go with six behind the neck, BTN, behind the neck snatch push press. So with a snatch grip, we're gonna go back, bar on our back. We're gonna go ahead and go dip and drive. And we're going to finish with legs uh, straight and arms straight with a snatch grip, hook grip, finishing overhead. And I wanna bring that back down and I want to pause in between. So it's not gonna be catch and right back up, catch and right back up. We're going to go up and then we're gonna bring it down, reset, we're gonna do that for six. Next movement, we have hang, snatch, high pull. So with your hang, snatch again, we're gonna go snatch grip, nice and wide. We're gonna go from the hang, so top of the knee, then we're gonna get up into the power position and then we're going to get through triple extension, pulling our elbows nice and high and outside, pulling that bar about clavicle high. And we're gonna go six of those. Also, we are resetting in between each rep. This is not for speed, this is for quality. Last part of section A, you're gonna go hang muscle snatch. So again, top of the knee starting position, we're gonna go top of the knee, up into the power position, and then we're going to allow that bar to finish overhead now. So we're doing the same thing pretty much as uh, the high pull, but we're going to allow that turnover to happen and we're going to finish in a snatch receiving position. But we are going to receive the bar with straight legs. So that's what's gonna make this a muscle snatch. Part B, now we can start adding some weight. We're gonna go within every three minute on a three minute times six rounds. We're gonna go six hang power snatch. So we're continuing the trend of working from the hang where you guys are gonna go top of the knee and we're going to pull that bar up into our power position, getting our chest up and we're going to finish with bent knees, receiving that bar overhead in our snatch. Um, this one, I'll give you guys the freedom to roll quickly through it if you'd like, um, because that load is going to be increasing, we can go ahead and uh, decrease that time under tension if possible. So six hang, power snatch, building if possible. That's your strength for Tuesday. Next, body weight. So um, if you had been paying attention, you probably could have predicted this one. So two weeks ago to the day, we did a 30 minute AMRAP of running four kilometers. We're just gonna repeat that again. So that date was 3.31, last day of March. We're gonna go ahead and repeat that and check back in Zen Planner to that date and then we're going to try and beat yourself. If you didn't do it, awesome. You've got an opportunity to go for a little bit of a run. Uh, 30 minutes is going to be um, much better than our 45 minute run. I think the 45 minute run is a little bit ominous hanging over your head, but 30 minutes I think is much more doable. Um, throw on some headphones and just get it done. It'll be over quick. Part three, your equipment workout, what we're looking for is intervals of cardio machine and a little bit of skill with your jump rope. Um, we're gonna go three minutes on, three minutes off for four rounds. All right, so that's only gonna be about 12 minutes of work. Um, it's not too bad. Um, you are gonna have to work pretty hard on the front end of this interval though. We got 35, 25 calorie machine. Um, that's really not too bad. That should probably take you one to two minutes into an AMRAP of double unders. So if you have double unders, awesome. We're gonna start knocking them out. If you don't have double unders, we can work on getting better at them. That would be a great opportunity. Or we can go ahead and just do singles. That's fine too. So if you go ahead and do singles, excellent. And your score is going to be all of the double unders or all of the single unders if you're scaling for the workout. So your calories don't count towards your score, just the double unders. So. That is your Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Have a great day. Keep that positive attitude. Keep working. We'll see you soon.